Hey all, this is Agroad. I wanted to go take a quick second and walk you through the uh, the Steambot tracker. So uh, BitBots are a thing on the platform. Something like 5 to 6% of the total Steam power available is uh, placed on something like 20 different BitBots. And uh, Yabba P. Matt, uh, or Matt as I like to call him, uh, he set up a website and he has helped build or he constructed his own BitBot um, so the website is called Steam Bot Tracker, and the, the bot that he uses is called uh, Post Promoter. So uh, I've gone to that page so that we can have a little discussion about this. Um, so this is the bot tracker. If you click on the, uh, the bid bot, bid based voting bots, you can see how these things work. So essentially a bid bot, you send it some money and you purchase a vote. Now, at the, at the basics of this, you are simply purchasing a vote and hoping for some return. But the reality of this thing is that you're also getting a lot of promotion for it. Uh, when people see posts that have high values on them, they are more likely to click on them to see what it looks like. Uh, so you're not just purchasing, you're not just gambling, you're really trying to do marketing, which might actually uh, give you a return. I mean, it's pretty weird to think about a business where you market and you are paid to market, but that's exactly what these bid bots do. Um, in a couple of weeks of using them, I, I think I've lost money on two transactions so far. So I'm quite pleased with, um, so far it seems pretty unlikely that I'm going to uh, continuously lose money by doing this. You know, I time it and I try to be smart when I do these things, but, uh, but this tool helps me. And so that's why I want to talk about this. So if, uh, if we each bid half, then we'll each get half of the vote. If my bid is bigger than your bid, and so I, I'm bidding um, you know, $4 and you're bidding one, uh, then I'll get 80% of the vote. And uh, every, every 2.4 hours, uh, these bid bots will have another vote and they keep cycling through them. So we have an individual vote, ca vote calculator for each bot. I don't quite do that. Uh, and what I really want to get down to is sort of the rotating list of these things. But um, Matt added a pretty neat feature. Uh, post rewards is what appears on a steamit.com page. So if I do, uh, if I hop into steamit.com and I'm looking at these numbers here, those are the post reward numbers that, that we're talking about. Uh, those things are pretty frustrating. You can't really... You can't trust them because they all think that SBD is worth a dollar, whereas here it's actually worth 972. So it gets the price of Steam right because that's the witness feed, but uh, it, it doesn't really account for the price of SBDs. Um, so it's really hard to calculate um, from that number what your actual value is, which is why it's so handy to actually just go into, I don't know, SBD or Steam, and now you can start seeing this much more reasonably. Uh, the vote value is how much it's going to place on a post. At maximum, if, it, if somebody bought up all of it, uh, Booster would put 60.83 SBD on that post. Um, now it talks about what the minimum bid is. So you can go wander through here and find what the minimum bid is. Um, these are kept to the best of the ability of uh, us, but there's no knowing for certain unless you actually visit their page what the uh, what the minimum bid is. Now the total bid value. This number is actually how much how much money has been spent by the people bidding. So um, actually this one's a little bit off. You can see that there's 6.5 SBD is the vote value, and they are bidding 6.82. So this is why the max profitability says zero. People have outspent what that this bot is capable of placing. Um, okay, so the max profitable bid shows you how much you could spend and actually break even. So let me just kind of cycle through here and you can see uh, you could add 180 SBD uh, and that's like the maximum that everybody collectively can add and still break even. And, you know, if the vote is 240, but the max that you can receive is, is 180, what's the difference? It goes to curation. So um, when, you're, when you're bidding with these bots, a whole bunch of this stuff is going to go back towards curation. 
Uh, and so it's hard for you to actually, you, you got to make sure that you have enough extra vote there to, uh, to cover your curation. It's not a loss because you're, you're giving it to all the people that are voting on you and there's some benefit to that too, but it's not, you're not getting a return on the curation part. You're only getting a return on, um, the, the part of that vote that goes to you. And that's why this number is in here. That's what this thing is calculating. Okay, so then it'll show you when the last vote was, it'll show you when the next vote was, and actually this next vote is one of the most important things because you'll notice that, you know, when these bots are pretty old, there's basic or when the when when there's a lot of time left on the bots, you'll notice that there's basically almost uh no money that's been spent on these things, practically any. Uh and in fact, I would say 85% of the money actually comes in within the last 10 minutes of these uh of these votes. So you know, you don't need to worry too, too much about what the bot's going to do when there's over an hour left. What you do is you sit around and wait to see what happens, you know, somewhere between the 30 second to five minute mark to go figure out what you want to do. And then you can actually dive into some of the details on this. So the last round, uh, the total vote value was 6.5 SBD. The total bids was 4.63. And so this is the total bid value is $45. Uh, so the ROI is 40.37. Now, at the moment, this does not currently include curation. So you got to be careful with that number because it's actually, uh, you got to decrease it by, um, you know, scale it down to 75% of what this thing is. But, you know, the people that are using this bot service in the last round, they were able to see a profit. So not only did they get promotion, not only did they get, uh, put their post out there, but they also received money for having used these. Uh, and here you can see this one wasn't quite as good uh, because there was a negative uh, ROI. That doesn't mean, yes, you spent money, uh, but you still get the marketing value of these things. Your post reward suddenly shot up by some amount of money. Uh, that's a big deal because now more people are going to look at it. So, um, so this bot tracker is a pretty handy tool. It'll list the name of the bots. It'll show you, does it vote on comments? So this one does. Uh, this bot has a pre-vote guild. So sometimes you'll notice that Booster goes beyond the vote value. And it does that fairly consistently. And that's because there's a group that'll front run Booster, uh, basically trying to capture those curation rewards. And then uh, this is a bot that accepts Steam. So most of these bid bots are, are built around SBD, but there's a handful of these bots uh, booster is one. Uh, most of the other ones that are run by the post promoter uh, tool, as opposed to the Dr. Auto tool that was created by Inertia, uh, these will accept Steam. And then um, it, this bid automatically refunds invalid bids. So you'll notice that um, a lot of these will do that. I'm pretty sure that all of the ones except for booster that have this little green circle are using the uh, the post promoter um, bid bot um, program. And that's what Yabba created. That's what he and I sort of co-own, co-manage, and co-run. Um, and we actually offer that as a service. So if people are interested in, you know, I have a bid bot, I'd like to run this. I have somebody with a lot of SP um, that is willing to lease to me, or I have a lot of SP and I want to run my bot. And But you don't actually want to run the bot. You want to have the bot and sort of collect a passive income while helping to promote and market other people's work. Um, then one of the things you could do is just work with Yabba, Yabba Matt or, or just Matt and, uh, and he'll actually run the service for you. And, um, we take a small percentage for having done that, but you know, it, it saves you quite a bit of hassle. The bot's pretty good. And the next stage of this thing is we're going to go put together a, um, sort of like an interface for both the bot owners and the bot users to try to give you a lot more data that you can sift through to figure out what's a good time to vote, what's a good time to do this, why would I do this, what's the ROI, what's the best time to get the ROI, which bots have the best ROI, all that kind of stuff. We're trying to build it into this. Okay, so these are the voting bots where they cycle through and there's a little bit of a gambling aspect for how much you're going to make at any given time. Uh, these are some of the voting services. This is content promotion. So uh, Minnow Booster just has a set 35% increase to your votes. So uh, you send them money uh, and they will provide a upvote that is, uh, will, will guarantee you a return on that. Um, 
Smart Steam has something similar to that. So again, it's 135% uh, on top, just like Mini Booster is. Um, and then what else do I have here? We have, uh, there's a whole other series of other bots and these all have different rules. Some of these things are, you know, you follow them. Some of them have like the tree planter will plant trees for you. Um, these are just not the standard bid bot practice. Uh, some of these will give you upvotes, re-steam. Some of them will follow you for 30 days. And there's a lot to go into. So you just have to study this to figure out what you want. In worst case scenario, you go check out the, uh, the account itself and see what it's doing. So this post promoter tool is completely free. We will probably have a premium version at some point where we put even more tools for bot owners and bot users than what is publicly available. And, um, and that might end up costing something, but at least this, this, what you see now, we're not planning on making any changes to this other than improving it and making sure that the, uh, the one, the one sort of feature request that I got in here is that this number should really be reflecting the, um, post curation amount and right now it's the pre curation but other than that this thing is cooking along the bots are doing well uh, a lot of people are using post promoter now uh, in part because it's accepting both currencies and it automatically resteams things and um, Matt's a really good dev and he's a really good um, sort of system admin so the bots stay up and um, and it's easy to run and easy to use and he does a nice job managing it and helping to customize your variables so uh, hopefully if you decide to run a bot you'll choose to work with me and Matt and uh, if you're gonna use the bid bots uh, there's basically no way to know whether they're going to be profitable or not unless you're you know on the screen uh, steambottracker.com so just wanted to show that uh, both Matt and I are witnesses, so I would ask that you vote for us. Um, and like that, thanks so much. And just wanted to show you guys what these bid bots look like and how you might be able to use them and uh, achieve the most benefit from them.